What's up, woman? Oh, there's waves. There is waves because there is a massive storm that's coming in. I'm just hoping it doesn't come in on Sunday. We are going on another one of our incredible hikes because Kathy wants to. Right above the County Line store, which I worked at in 1968 as a waitress serving pancakes. Yeah, I loved it. Tell them a little bit about that experience serving pancakes. Oh, yeah. Well, it isn't the pancakes, it was the mayonnaise and the mustard and the ketchup. Yeah. They were in these vats about this big, you know, behind the counter. You didn't ever clean them. All you did was fill them up on the top with more mayonnaise and more ketchup. We've never been on uh, this particular hike to this particular place, so we're kind of in exploratory mode, and we're dragging you guys along with us. We got a whole group going. I got a new bracelet. I got a number two bracelet from Four Ocean. A second one. For every bracelet you buy, they clean up one pound of plastic. sure that just came down. Yeah, because the road is clean. Yeah. We are on Yerba Buena, which is a, a road we haven't been up. It, it goes quite a ways, and there's lots of rock slides and mud slides along here. Technically, it's a uh, trip. Ah, hopefully not today, though, except for that big boulder that yeah. was sitting right in the middle of the road. There's a couple of trailheads, so we're gonna attempt to do what's called the grotto. It's a little windy. This is a campsite for kids that come up from time to time. What did I say? It just talked about the rules of camping, so I think a person could reserve a mm. site here. Nice, it's beautiful. like little tree tunnels everywhere. And there's a, a brook. It's right along here. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Thank you. 
This trail takes us in about 1.3 miles, so about approximately a three mile loop. Kathy's way ahead. She's a badass on the trail. Hey, this is a little trail that goes down right here. Mm. This is definitely one of the most beautiful trails that we have been on so far. So many different aspects to it. Waterfalls, there's tree tunnels, streams. Amazing. Kathy fixed my hiking boots before I came up here. Fixed the sole. And just then I, one? Just one, and then I just lost the other sole. I have no idea, but it just came right off. <laughs> it's so Tim has no sole. All right, on our way back, really incredible hike. We're gonna come back here on Wednesday of next week, bring our buddy Bob, it's his birthday. It's gonna be a tough birthday present. This is my favorite spot. It's kind of like the halfway point, maybe a little bit less. It's kind of like this. <laughs> I think we'll be here for a little while. Oh, oh my god. Open the oh. window. Oh, I gotta leave this. Leave that open. That was good. I can't quite breathe yet. Here's, here's the stats. This is what I got for my phone. I don't know, the phones never match up. 54 floors. I got 59 floors. Oh, probably yours. 7,596 steps. 8,454 steps. You, you got little legs. Yeah. 2.7 miles. 2.8. You just booked it over me. <laughs> what are you doing, like running in circles while I'm just running? I think so.
I'm uploading all the footage right there. Today was an epic day. Uh, these hikes are so good for the soul. You get caught up in, in the workload and all these things and you really got to take the time to, to get out there and experience nature in the, in the different ways that you can, whether it's the ocean or the, the hillsides or the mountains or whatever it is, but you really got to take the time to do that because it fills you up, it recharges you, makes you feel awesome. But I just want to say this one thing for today's theme. Hikes and things like this really have no meaning. It's really us that gives meaning to it. It's really no different than a, a person that insults you. It really isn't good or bad. What's good or bad is what you decide it is. And therein lies the secret because we all have a choice in the way that we look at our lives. And you have to choose the positive. You have to choose looking at things in a positive way so you can expand and grow. And when ideas come up, inspirations to go on hikes or to do really cool things, maybe drive a McLaren, you gotta run with those things. You gotta, you gotta do whatever it takes to run with that inspired thought. And you can't wait too long. If you wait, just two minutes, you'll talk yourself out of it. So tomorrow, try to be conscious. Try to live consciously tomorrow. Try to think in, in the present. Try not to worry about the past and what you should have done or worry about the future, about what might happen. And have an awesome day because you deserve it. And with that, it's time to get back to editing. See you later.